All right, in this video, we are working on a Troy built pressure washer. Uh, this one makes 2,800 PSI. Um, it's been sitting uh, so it doesn't start, or if it does start, it runs pretty rough and uh, it's not making the pump's not making pressure correctly, like it kills the engine. So, yeah, we're gonna go through this and do some troubleshooting and get it running. All right, so first thing we wanna do is make sure that it has oil in it, because we don't wanna try to start it up here and have no oil in the engine. And that's a, it's not too bad. It's just a little bit above the two dots. Now let's check to see if it's got gas in it. Uh, got gas, it doesn't smell too bad. Let's check the air filter. Yeah, a little dirty, nothing uh, too major. Oh, that's okay. All right, on off switch right here, so it's on on. Uh, we're gonna try to start, if it, if it does fire um, and try to run, I'm just gonna turn it off real quick because you don't wanna run these very long without any water running through that pump. <laughs> All right, doesn't want to start, so let's uh, spray some starting fluid in there. Heck, it doesn't even want to start with starting fluid. Maybe that spark plug is fouled. <laughs> Let's take the spark plug out. Looks like there's a lot of oil on that thing. All right, threw a new spark plug in there, a little bit more starting fluid. Yeah, so that spark plug was just fouled. Let's do a little investigating here. This has an auto choke system. So as the engine gets started and warms up, the choke should turn itself off and it's not. As you can saw, I was holding that screwdriver in there and it would run fine. But as soon as I would take it out, it would die. And that's because of this right here. So right now that is full choke. Excuse me. That's full choke. That's no choke. And now that I turn the machine off, it's actually where it should be. So I wonder if something was catching it. I mean, this cover goes on there. I mean, it just sits up here. Oh, it's not hitting it. I wonder if, if it was stuck. I mean, it's just a spring. This piece goes over to the exhaust because that's what heats the, the deal up. I bet you'll start right, right up and run fine now. <laughs> yep. Huh. <laughs>
as you can see, it is working as it should. Um, I got back over to the water source and it was doing the same thing. Uh, this was not all the way. So what I ended up doing is this spring right here kind of gave it just a little tug so it's not pulling as tight. And then this arm here that reaches over, I bent it a little so it's more of a straight shot over. You can see there's this kink in it, but I mean, the piece that's up under here was all the way this way, but with the kink in it, it just would not push it all the way over. So I straightened this arm up a little bit, and now, as you saw, it was running, and the choke was completely off. So I'm sure what was happening is customer didn't know what was going on. This this was the problem and it was running with the choke just in there bouncing around and it was never running at full throttle. It was causing it to run rich. Thus our spark plug was was dark and fouled and not working. And also why they were saying when they would use it, um, you know, they would go to make pressure with the wand and, you know, pressure you know, on or the trigger off and it would kill the engine because the engine was not running at the max RPM like it should. So I hope this video helps you out. Maybe you have the same problem. And if you have any questions, put it down in the comments. Thanks for watching.